everybody thanks so much for watching uh we're here talking about real estate again and uh with me today i have piada uh piada uh works with me and we are going to be talking a little bit about uh, market conditions first we want to talk about uh what's going on in the market so piada what what do you see right now craziness <laughs> <laughs> one word craziness and um you 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 do have to remember that the supply um is really low the we don't have that many houses on the market right now but we have still a lot of buyers so demand is really really high i think i think it's crazier than in 2021 at the same time yeah. it's uh the first time i saw it 2021 i was like oh my god what's this and then today and then it it, it, it balanced out a little bit in the march april it balanced out a little bit now i see the same thing just a little bit crazier you it know? is it is definitely less um houses than the same time last year actually that's what um i saw and a lot of people are getting upset and you know kind of like um buyers a lot of buyers yeah losing definitely. hope losing hope that they actually going to find something yeah. um but you know if you give up and you don't push you won't find anything for sure so don't give up I'll this is this is our message don't give up don't don't give up yeah but there's a lot of people that are thinking like oh my god where's this going you know yeah. it's like maybe it's 2006 everybody was crazy and just running around buying houses and everything crashed so but the the, the thing is that back then there was a lot of inventory mm -hmm. now there's no inventory so it, it it's gonna be a little bit more in a couple of maybe today's what uh we had, we're in february right now march april there's going to be more homes a lot of people are waiting for a better weather especially older people they're waiting for a better weather to come in um and they will be listing me myself i have um some buy some sellers they're just waiting in for march mm -hmm. historically that's been a month where everything starts you yeah. know, everybody starts putting homes right now it's shifted you can start putting your home in January already, and it's gonna sell. We just posted something yesterday, and I just got an offer like a minute ago. Yeah, it's it's just crazy. Um, so you know, it's time to sell right now, definitely. But a lot of buyers are thinking, where is this going? Um, maybe it's gonna crash right before I buy, or right after I buy, to be to to be. People uh, people are um afraid that you know it's gonna crash, the, and some of the people are waiting for actually prices to go down which as far as i know it's yeah. not happening maybe it will slow down it's going to be more normal but it's you think price is not crashing no i don't think so <laughs> mm -mm. well what about what about if foreclosures come a lot of foreclosures oh, there's a lot of houses for sale what do you think will will uh will crash the prices what what can happen that can crash the prices well only if we have more supply like if we have more houses it's gonna slow down okay what's can, what can cause supply yeah okay one thing um all of a interest sudden rates. interest rates if we you know because um obviously people are talking about interest rates going up and um still with the prices here not that many people um actually will be able to afford the house or will qualify so it sits longer exactly okay so, so. we're going to have more because of interest rates go up okay let's uh let's see what else can cause all of a sudden all sellers decide to sell i don't know not not mm -hmm. gonna happen um what else can cause okay so some of the people who bought cannot afford paying for it True. so now they try to sell so if they cannot afford to pay for it um that means that we have something shifts in economy that people lose jobs right so like big shifts like that interest rates going up that's already happening yeah we might have a little bit of the but it's not really helping you know it has to get up to like five percent six percent exactly yeah and we are not there sell. yet so it's still you know There's this is what keeps buyers coming because they still know that you know interest rates are good so we have more and more people looking and if, they they want to take advantage of that like so, yeah if the one percent interest goes up for 30-year mortgage um loan then it's almost like you know almost like sixty thousand in the price mm -hmm. so you can overpay you know depending on the price range of course like we i'm talking right now around four hundred fifty thousand dollar house 
you can pay 60,000 more for the house and it's going to be the same payment as if you waited and paid 60,000 less but your interest rate was 1% high. It's the same payment. Yeah. Um you know, so it's it's going there for sure. We're going to have interest rates go up. Um we don't know how fast, how how slow and what what pace. Um uh, but definitely they're not staying at 3%. No. Yeah. They already had and investments are now four. Mm-hmm. Second homes, now you have to put 20% down. The big, the big thing right now is that all these homes that are selling, there are no zero money down loans. They called, back in the days, they called them Ninja. No income, no job applications, <laughs> Ninja. Yeah. Uh, so right now there's no zero down purchases. Everybody who's buying, putting their own money into it. Mm-hmm. So. The thing is that in 20, 2007, there used to be, there, there were a lot of people that were like, bank, take that house. I didn't put anything into it. I don't care about it. You yeah. take it. Yeah. And the banks are flooded with houses. They need to get rid of them. So that's what caused that huge inventory show up. And now Bank of America is like, oh, the Chase has a million houses. We have a million houses. Let's drop the price so we sell them faster than Chase. So that's what costs the whole thing. And now you're living in your house, you're making payments. You see the neighbor sells for a bunch, uh, so so less than 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 you think they they're worth. They're like, hey, prices are dropping. Why am I paying for mortgage if it's not worth it? Because my neighbors are now fifty percent, you know, um, you know, selling for less than 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 it's worth. And they're like, okay, bank, take it, you know, or yeah. just do some weird modifications and all that. Although. I started getting emails from lenders that there's uh, buyer credits. Bank of America is now offering buyer credits. Um, some other bank, I got an uh, I got an email from that they offered three thousand. Bank of America offers seven thousand first time buyer credit. So maybe we're getting there. Maybe we 0% are zero percent down yeah. payment. You know, first time home buyers getting seven thousand uh, back if they're buying condo for two hundred. Their down payment of ten percent is twenty thousand, seven thousand back, some taxes, this and that. They they need ten thousand to get to get into two hundred thousand dollar house, condo or townhome. So maybe slowly we're getting there, but so maybe far we are. no. Maybe we are, but you know, um, I don't know if you um, if you've noticed that we have a lot of new constructions and builders are building like crazy. Some of the people prefer actually new constructions right now. And I think that's another thing which may slow down, um, you know, like, um, not slow down, but like the supply is going to be higher, like the regular sales. I'm not talking about new constructions because a lot of people is actually like tired of, um, you know, like waiting for the perfect house to come on the market. Then you know, put the offer and like way over asking price, well of the, wave all of the, um, um, you know, conditions. So just to get the house, a lot of people is getting towards buying like new construction because that, yes, it's going to take a bit longer like longer or not longer because you're going to really, you know, prepare yourself that you ha- you do have to look for the house for a while. It's not like two days process. Sometimes so, it happens. Yeah, well, yeah, but sometimes only. In this situation, you know, they are moving towards new constructions because they know that there is less competition. Whatever they want, they will get. And there is less stress because of that. I mean, the whole process of buying house is stressful. That's why they have us to right. just... You know, new constructions them. also also have some nuances where you can you sometimes you have to wait six months until they finish the project. You're yeah. buying something yeah, that's but, unfinished. but some of the houses new construction because I am working with um, clients who are actually looking for new construction, and sometimes some of them they are just ready to move in within like a couple of weeks. That's good. You know, some of the builders are um, offering like um, you know waiving closing cost that would attract people, you know? So I think that may help as well. Everybody likes new. new yeah, everyone likes new, yeah. you know? And, you know, when but you- some of these new constructions have bad finishes. 
They do. They, they do. But lemonade, you know, most of the time they are gonna give you um, home warranty, which is for free. Yeah, but who's gonna replace my, you know, my my countertop? You know, they give me warranty. No, yeah, but they, they do. They still offer you a good prices for that. You can go with your own um, contractor if you want to. But I think that it's 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 a good option if you are thinking about like if you are unsure which direction to go, that might be a good um, idea. So that's that's another option there for you just to remember. Yeah. So you know. Who's also who, who's it for though? What? Like, who would you recommend uh, new construction to? To just anyone, pretty much. I think new construction because it's the same thing. New construction like kind of cheap. So I wouldn't put like a big. Yeah, but new constructions have a starting I would put point. Old people yeah. in there. Well, you, they don't break anything. Like, if I had a family... There, is, seven, there seven. is pretty much no negotiation. You're not renting. You're buying. Yeah. No, I know. But, like, if I'm buying new construction, sometimes the doors are paper thin, then I would I would think to myself, like, I need something more sturdy. Because then I'm going to be replacing doors all the time. Sometimes you can, you can uh, pick your own finishes. Yes, you can. Uh, they, so give you, they give you the whole list of items that you can update. So, basically, they're going to give you a price... And they're going to tell you, okay, so this is what is included. It's basic, but it's new. It, it looks nice. So if you don't care, I think that's a great option. And then if you go um, with, you know, I don't know, a granite countertop, um, a better backsplash or whatever it is, whatever floors, they're going to give you the whole list and you can pick, okay, I want to go with this and that. They're going to, you know, add it, add it, add it. Your price is going to go up. In new construction, there's different. There are different builders. There are big builders and there are small mm -hmm. ones. Oh yeah. So sometimes they big buy a huge uh, land, and they kind of break them up in lots, and they put on auction a couple of lots every two weeks. The lots go on the auction. Uh, there are bids. Who pays more for the for the lot gets the lot. Then they pick the model. The models also have finishes, mm -hmm. and then you pick the finishes, and you wait until it's done. So there's one way to buy, and sometimes there's already almost framed house you come in and you pick finishes depending on the builder some builders are big ones some some are small so depending on how it works and sometimes builders even offer financing all depends big ones like dr horton ryan holmes right um uh and the other one is pretty big one um i forgot the name dr horton ryan holmes mm, forgot okay uh, either way and there's a lot of them that are building now range homes, little range homes. And I've been saying that for a long time. The construction level is super different. The 1960 homes, full brick, from today's homes, super different. Those are, you know, wood, frame, um, but it works, you know. It works, Now yeah. all homes are like that. Everything from 80s, um, maybe 90s are all wood. And it's, you know, so far it's so good. But, you know, they're not going to outperform the brick ones. Um, so that's that's about a, a new construction and sometimes oh here's what I want to say sometimes the starting point the price that you see is just to get you in and then mm -hmm. you know you see the 389 and at the end it's 430 or something like that with all the finishes all the paperwork and everything else uh, and at that that price means no fridge no you know this and that and sometimes yeah you do have to be careful and see what is included in this price because it might be tricky although I noticed that most of the time just like recently they actually include like all the appliances like really nice ones um the countertops are basic only unless you pick uh, something better yeah but um you know the flooring everything looks just really really nice so it's it's worth to look into something like that and um there are really are a good options there so if you are you know, unsure which direction to go. Maybe this is something what you may double check with. Yeah. So th we might see even more new construction hit the market, which mm -hmm. will increase the inventory. I think that this year is probably the last year we're going to see this craziness, this huge seller's market. It's going to continue to be a good real estate market. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be balanced out a little bit. More we're going to see more yeah. inventory finally interest rate will go up that will slow down sales a little bit we're going to have some other factors come in there's a lot of movements there's a lot of also we're talking uh, about chicago market um there's a lot of people that are moving out of state to you know to retire into south uh, south states 
Southern states. So um, we're going to have a little bit more inventory because of that. Millennials are 34% of all the transactions. Those are all the buyers and they're coming even more. So we might even have more inventory, but we might even have even more buyers. So, you know, we'll see. But 34% of the whole transaction pool is millennials. Yep. It's kind of, you know, first time buyers. Yeah, first time buyers. 34%. Yeah. yeah. Most of my clients are actually so first time buyers. So are we crashing? No. Probably not. No. We Probably. are not. And and So don't wait for Don't wait. Exactly. Don't wait for the prices to drop. Um just take still take advantage of what we have when it comes to interest rates, really still really, really good interest rates, but just prepare, prepare mentally for this market. Um, yeah, if you are looking take... already or not, because it's going to take a while. So be patient. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep looking at the houses. Keep um, putting offers, whatever you can afford. And I know that everyone has this cap, but you know, you do have to remember that with um, so many buyers and, you know, sellers market, you do have to offer more than asking price. Asking price is the yeah. minimum, but you do have to remember that there is going to be, you know, multiple offers more most of the time. Most likely, yeah. Um, they're going to waive all the conditions. So they're going to buy as is. They're going to waive. Um, right, now, right now, as is, is something that you almost have to do you have to do you yeah. have to do yeah. pretty much yeah that means that you kind of tell the seller look i'm just taking it the way it is i will do inspection mm -hmm. but that's just for my knowledge yeah i'm yeah. not talking about anything else um if something will show up unless it's a deal breaker then we'll we'll talk other than like dishwashers leaking you know outlets not screwed in all the way yeah. you know so it's a little lemon that is not even in some spots I'm not talking about that. And so when you're competing, one of those offers will be as is. So you might be even a little bit higher, but since that the other one was as is, they might get it. Exactly. And the same situation, you you may offer 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 more, and you are like pretty much confident, okay, I offer them that much, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it. Well, somebody may offer 5,000 less than you, but they are buying as is. They are waiving um, appraisal gap, and, and they're gonna they're gonna get it. Not it's not always the highest offer which is winning. I wanted to give out uh, one of the tips. Good tip. Um, for somebody who's right now in the market, they're trying to compete. When you're putting an offer, don't end it at zero or five. Add a little bit more. Like you know. Somebody else is probably doing the same thing. Like if you're the house is for three three hundred and you say, Okay, I'm putting three fifteen, somebody else is putting three fifteen. So you put three sixteen, three seventeen, you know, put a little bit more. If you break it down in thirty years, you're not gonna feel it. Mm -hmm. uh, but that just just might win it. Yeah. Five bucks a month. It's catchy. Yeah. It's gonna win it. Uh, and you make it as is, now we have very good chances. And then still you have to find out what's going on in, on the seller side. But that's a little tip for the for buyers that are thinking about, or, or maybe they're for their agents too. Um, that, that's for the agents you know, too, yeah. For agents. Um, so, okay, so expectations. You know, sometimes it might take a couple houses, a couple times, a couple some, months. Uh, one more thing, I tell my buyers that um, <clears throat> it may happen on the first one. It may you go out, and that first one you looked at is the one you think is, but then you're thinking. I haven't seen anything. I got nothing to compare to. Um, I'm not ready yet. And so some some people do. Uh, there's two ways you can you can handle the situation. You either go and buy it, or uh, there's three ways. You go and buy it. Second one is you put it on the contract and start looking at others, just so you can justify this choice, uh, this selection. And then if you find something better, you can always, if you're an attorney review, you can always withdraw your offer, kick, uh, cancel the contract. Um, or third one is just let it go and keep looking. But then a lot of times you'll be like, ah, that was the one. That was the one. Now I can't find coming. anything. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, it, and it, I'm going to tell you, it happens a lot. Yeah. And most of the time, the first choice is the best choice. Yeah, it's 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 been, we've been, 
we've been proven so many times oh, yeah. and i just always prepare my clients that just be ready it might happen right away you go out and that one is just right there because you've already been looking at uh, online for long and now you you kind of feel those homes you kind of know where you're going and when you get out and you, you look at one and like that's it it's just you know and it's hard <clears throat> i i can imagine you know not knowing the market i remember we were buying a car one of the cars and the sales guy's like yeah this is the car and it was not we couldn't touch it but he's putting a paper and like i, I mean uh, how can i buy it and he's like this is the market you got to buy it this way I'm like no i'm not buying it so we went home and then we did some research actually that was a good price so we called back and we figured it out they kind of brought it in brought that car it was it was local and finally we we had to touch it drive it and then okay we buy it but then we bought it for the same price. that was actually a good deal but we couldn't because we couldn't even touch it so that's that was something that you can't really you, you get scared you freak out it's yeah a, it's i want to touch decision, it yeah i want to touch it i know a car is not as expensive as a house I, with the houses you're not buying it not seeing you still want to see it yeah. of course and then you got to make a decision but it's up to everybody you know it depends on your risk tolerance level as well uh you might feel there's always in the family when there's a husband or wife somebody's always more emotional and there's another one who's more logical it has to be like that so there's a balance and the one who is more emotional is ready to go and the logic pulling back mm -hmm. and um that's good and i always suggest let's throw an offer see what happens see where you're comfortable if they accept it we go look at more we go just to justify it. and it takes you four or five houses now you know okay that was the right price we are we're happy with what we chose okay thanks god we didn't lose it and we were happy we were lucky with you know with getting in and getting that first house that we've seen and and something what i wanted to mention that even when you go and look at the house right now and try to like compare to houses on the market from a couple of months ago yeah. it's a different situation where we are right now than a couple of months ago it's crazy sometimes yeah. you look at yeah. it so like they they difference. are saying that the prices went out um went up about 20 percent looking at last year to this year so 20 percent that's a lot it's very lot yeah, yeah. but if sometimes you're looking at the prices in 2007 uh and then you look at the prices today and then some people are like oh this house didn't didn't appreciate much yeah it's but not worth the, the money yeah but here's the thing in 2007 we had to go through this yeah 10 years it took us to get up so that was the that was something that if that wouldn't have happened we would have been even you know m much higher but that had to happen so it balanced out the market. So, but that thing happens once in every hundred years, probably. You know that 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 craziness that we had in 2007, that mortgage frauds. Yeah. You know they're not so far. We don't see no signs, and I'm always kind of looking. Those grants that are coming out right now might be a first step towards it, but it's regulated now. Um, it's not going to be the same as it was in 2007. So yeah. there's no big crash coming so far as we see um but who knows so expectations are this um interest rates will be higher mm -hmm. the inventory will pick up and you know there's no rush to buy if you are not you know like right now me i want to buy something um i'm looking to buy probably a house and i'm thinking about like i'm a realtor right so i know the the, the conditions and i think the market is not crashing it's only going to go up interest rates are low so it's time to buy it's a good time to buy uh, but you know, I'm right now in the process of growing the business and I want to spend money towards that and create more leads, create more opportunities and buying a house will be a little bit more of a setback for me probably. But you know, if the right comes, I'll still probably buy. So I'm always looking, you know, but, yeah, but I'm you not... are not stressing out that much, right? Like, no, if I, if I was like in the moment where like, okay, now I have to find because we need the house, yeah. I would tell myself. <clears throat> this is the time right now but whatever happens happens you know like 10 years ago it was the best time 20 years ago was the best time it always goes up so is the salaries so is everything else you know and what are you go what are you going to tell a, a, a you know a kid who's five years old buy a house because it's going to be expensive in 25 years that's when you're going to be buying that's their time. That's yeah. when they will be buying. You yeah. know, it's going to be different scenarios, different That is true. Market. The, I mean, the market, it is what it is. We just have to, you know, um, go with the flow. Yeah, we have to adjust. and Be careful with 
following the, you know what everybody else says you know like yeah. there's news there's a new article boom bust everything bear market uh, you know i know uh, yeah. everything and then you keep like okay okay oh, my gotta, neighbor said this you yeah know? we gotta do this we gotta we gotta and then you buy it and like oops <laughs> why why did i buy it okay interest rates are low but still payments high it's too yeah. high for me i couldn't afford it why did i buy it so I always just wanted to, I, I just turned out, that's off the topic. That's, we were already done with the market, so everybody understands what's going on. <laughs> off the topic, we uh, just went to the listing appointment the other day. Um, penthouse, Lakeshore Drive, mm -hmm. penthouse, 12th floor, 2,100 square feet. Awesome place. I, I thought so. I thought so. So I'm coming out, and it was listed for 600 for three years. Three years, it couldn't sell. Like, it was it was listed with the top 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 realtors in Chicago, top dogs had the listing, couldn't sell it, so I'm coming in, <laughs> so I'm like I'll sell it, and I'm coming in and I'm like I'm not gonna sell it, I won't be able to sell. It. I don't know why they took the listing. A place is place is good, place is for 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 a lover, you know it's it's all wood, all all wood, all original kitchen, original uh, bathrooms. There's things like the owner, car owner, appreciates it so much, and it's super hard to find a buyer who will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Everything's unique. Everything, this is green, this is purple, this is wood, you know. It's now modern buyer wants everything, you know, white, new. doesn't have to be wood. Just look white and new, look new. Um, there's a lot of wood paneling in the place. So I know what the buyers want. And I see that they want to remodel. Yeah. And I see hundred thousand worth of remodeling, and probably at the end, maybe even more. Probably at the end, it's going to be six hundred, maybe six twenty-five. So I don't see six hundred right now. And I took down, I turned down the listing, so I didn't take it because I saw that it would be an expense and a waste of my time. Yeah. Because when you take the listing, you need to f first virtually stage it because it was vacant. Then you need to prepare for show, for shoot, photo shoot, take the pictures, print brochures, put it on uh, social media and Google ads, uh, drive traffic to it and hold it. You, you have to invest. You as a listing coming. agent, of course. And I saw that this would be uh, just a disservice. And yeah. I told him, I don't think it's going to be selling at that price. And I think it would be much better to, you know, to lower. But, you know, if you find somebody who's going to take it, just be sure that it's going to not they're not going to call you in two weeks and tell you we need to drop the price because mm. i don't think that's the correct price and what did they say uh she said thank you but we'll look we'll keep looking for a realtor mm. so yeah it's been three years so far and assessments are 1500 bucks a month so that's twenty thousand years to hold the place just to pay assessments wow. it's like sixty thousand already paid for assessments to hold the, the condo yeah so you know but uh it would be nice to have a penthouse on lakeshore for yeah. sale <laughs> Other than it will be just sitting for sale and we'll be just driving and showing the, the condo. So. so that's the market we're in, you know, even you, you think that, uh, you know, overpriced listings are selling still, but there's a common sense too, you know? Yeah. And they're not, that, that's not a super active market, you know, condos and on Lake Shore, like houses and suburbs. That's the market right now. That's the market. We're still in, we're still in for, for last two years. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see you. What was that? Because <laughs> you were just like, we are wrapping. Okay, thanks, everyone. <laughs> and he was just done. <laughs>